Joining us now to talk more about the state of the COVID crisis in the U.S. is Dr. Scott Kelly. He's the chief medical officer at Cytodon. The COVID cases are continuing to climb. Uh, people are traveling in high numbers, although top health officials have asked us to stay home. What are the biggest concerns you have heading into this holiday weekend and how are healthcare facilities preparing for a post holiday surge? Yeah, so so I think that the, the biggest thing is to avoid all non-essential travel at this point. I think that, um, you know, people need to wash their hands, they need to social distance, wear their face masks, and really try to limit the amount of contact they have during this holiday season. Important information there. It's kind of shocking to see so many people traveling and in such sheer numbers. It looks like a normal day at the airport pre-pandemic. Now, there are concerns worldwide about the new and rapidly spreading variants of the coronavirus running rampant in the United Kingdom and South Africa. The new strains are already presumed to be here in the United States. So what do you, what do people need to know about it? And are the symptoms different? Does it hit people harder? Can our current COVID tests detect them? Yeah, Fill that's, me a, that's an excellent question. So, you know, this is what RNA viruses do is that they mutate. And I think that in this particular situation, what it's gonna do is the virus may be more contagious. We don't know whether it's gonna be you know, more lethal. We don't know um, whether it's going to make patients sicker. Um, I think that people need to use standard precautions to protect themselves, but we're, it's still early. We don't know for sure. One of the things that I find so alarming about this is, you know, while many people survive uh, this virus, they have these lingering symptoms, um, you know, that, that last long after they have, you know, they've beat the virus. So you spoke to the Wall Street Journal about a push to launch the first clinical drug trials for those so-called long haul COVID patients. Can you tell us a little bit more about that effort and how these drugs will help those patients still suffering long after having the coronavirus? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think this is the collateral damage that we're going to see, you know, after the pandemic is over is what are we going to do with the patients that are having lingering symptoms? And at Cytodyne, we're using lorandamab and, and that capacity to try to help these patients. We think that there might be an inflammatory component in the central nervous system that's causing a lot of the fatigue and brain fog, and that's what we hope to address. Well, in addition to the vaccine, this is also some very important work that you're doing. Dr. Scott Kelly, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it.